Well, 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 guess who's back? <laughs> I'm in a fun mood today, and I thought I would do something that I haven't done for quite some time. In the early days, the good old days when I had hair and a beard and all that good stuff, I wanted to record some conversations that I had with the divine and so I did and those were many moons ago I have not had that much uh, response on that forum but it's a forum that I love and enjoy and one that I think that is very unique and very interesting and very kind of provocative and so I'm going to go back to that place with you today, and I hope that you will hang with me and uh, tune in with me as to what's really going on here and see what you can get out of what's going on with me. I'm the sacrificial lamb, <laughs> the guinea pig without the hair. So the process is this. And this is a process that I hope everyone in the world will step up to and enjoy, as I do. The process is one of getting your mind quiet and then tuning in to this special place. It's an idea exchange. It's a flow of ideas similar to a conversation that I'm having with you, except that it occurs through the mind and through thoughts and with the greatest, the coolest, the most loving of them all. And that is a very cool space. It's a space that people throughout the ages have wanted and desired and it's interesting that it's been available all the time, still there. And they'll even talk to a clown like me. Now, how about that? So I'm going to uh, share with you what they give to me in this forum uh, on video, on audio, in real life, which I think is kind of unique just because... Not too many people do this or willing to attempt this or perhaps don't want to expose their more private conversations that they have with the divine. As a introduction, I have chosen to restrict my conversations with the three entities that I think are at the the top, the, the top dogs, maybe I'm eluding myself or something, but that's just my choice. I didn't want to have, I didn't want to worry if there was some something out there that was better, bigger, superseded or something like that. But that you can have conversations with anybody because our souls are, their souls are around and you can converse with them. This was just my preference and one that I am enjoying and relishing very, very much. So what I do then is I feel who it is that wants to speak with me. And it appears what I'm feeling right now is, is that Jesus wants to chat, as we say. And so I'm going to speak with him for a while and whoever else wants to show up as well. And here we go. There are many options to you in everyday life as to what you do with your life. You can sing, you can dance, you can help people, you can help yourself. You can travel, you can stay put. There are an infinite number of choices, and that is the way that we designed the world for you, so that you would have options, options and choices that are available to any one of you. Many of you do not 
realize how many choices there are and so you keep constricted keep the choices that you make limited to certain few choices that you have so you eat you sleep you talk to your friends you do what you do but it is important to point out to you that there are many options there are as many options out there as to what you can do and think about as there are say flowers or trees or bugs they're all available to every one of you and those options form the variety the multiplicity of what it is that we wanted to design so that you could explore and expand and have ventures but on the other hand there was no judgment if you chose to stay focused in one particular area and that's all however we choose variety we choose so many options that you cannot even understand how many options there are all you have to do is look around at the variety that is around you in the way of nature in the way of the universe and you can see the variety that is available to you every corner every place you look there is something new and something interesting what would hold you back from choosing variety obviously there are patterns that you live things that you learn from your parents from your friends and those become the parameters or the ideas that you live by you live by an any of a number of different ideas that you were taught many of the ideas you were taught came from God came from the divine and yet they're very limited they're very restrictive there are probably more written words talking about my life when I was there than any of the others God has very little mention and goddess has essentially nothing from her in your historical writings to speak of and so you are left with third person articles comments writings about what i said and that's essentially it and even that small amount of information has garnered many thoughts many theories numbers and numbers of churches and belief systems all related to those words now i said to you that we like variety and so you can imagine the many ideas that are available that we have because we're creating this variety not just for your earth but for other earths and for the whole universe variety for entertainment purposes to display our creativity variety for just variety and so all of those things are there for you to explore the point of this discussion is to encourage you to look beyond the places that you already have looked what else is there out there what could you do for yourself to expand and explore your own experience of life we've given you this amazing body to explore and to experience we've given you a mind that has so much potential we've given you associations and experiences we've given you an earth 
that has so many variations and so many interesting people on it. We've given you an opportunity to explore with us that very few of you ever partake of, that very few of you are willing to step up to and to take advantage of interacting with us as you will when you put your body down. So there's a whole world out there that you do not see, that you feel sometimes that you sense, but you're afraid because you don't see it, because of other people criticizing you, of other people making fun of you, to explore those areas sometimes. There is a great challenge for you to expand on your experience, to do more things with your body, to think more, to play more, to experience more, to touch more, to give more. There's so many opportunities there right before you. And the greatest one of all may be to communicate with us while you have your body. That takes concentration, it takes focus, it takes peacefulness. It takes a willingness to explore and to even be exposed to criticism. But it opens up so many new possibilities that you can then take this marvelous experience of having a body, of having eyes and ears and a nervous system and all these marvelous capacities that you have, developing those and then enhancing them with the knowledge of the universe, enhancing them with the most loving and interesting and enduring relationships that you possibly can have. Relationships that you've had before and they were solid then, they're solid now even though you may not know of them and will continue to be forever in the future, but they create a kind of intrigue for you now because you don't see them, you only sense them, you only feel them. And yet the opportunity there for you to expand on that possibility for you is remarkable. It's life changing. It's what you've always wanted. It's what your soul is doing all the time and yet you do not find it's what I did when I was on the earth. The writers talked about this, that I had this sense that I was connected with God, that I was related to God through our DNA, both spiritually and physically, that I was connected all the time. But that took effort, that took energy, that took learning for me to get to that place. But I did it. And that was what created the intrigue for you, that I could do that. And yet many of you have given up on the possibility for yourself because you think it has to be someone special. You are special. You're divine. You're all that there is at the soul level. You just tend to play with the illusions that you're not. That's an interesting illusion. But it limits you. It holds you back from the ability to have these communications with me, with goddess, with God, and others that are here that could assist you and help you. It's purely voluntary. It's purely optional. But this is one option that I can tell you from my experience when I was there is wonderful. It expands your possibilities and it helps to teach you how to communicate at the soul level, at the spirit level, at the, at the communications through thought, so that when you do choose to come back to see us, 
you will be very comfortable. You have done it for many years, and you will know us from that perspective. How's that for a wonderful introduction to a transition that many of you fear? The transition that I took great pains to learn what it took to break that bond of death, that, that band that it had on each of you, and to break that. And now it's gone. It was gone before, but now you know from my experience. So there is a lot to learn, a lot to enjoy. I started out telling you about the variety. There are an infinite number of choices and options available to you. Expand your experience and include us with it, will you? Hopefully we'll talk soon. Wow. So there you go. That's my experience for today. That's so amazing to be able to grasp a sense of him, of be able to share him with you. It's humbling. It's inspiring. It creates a little bit of fear in me because I don't want to misrepresent him or to do or say anything that would lessen what he is because I'm not that. But I will say that that experience is really wonderful. And it's an experience that you can have as well. And one that I hardly recommend and can tell you is worth the effort. It's outstanding to have that connection and relationship built up. Hopefully we'll see you again soon.